Hi, you guys. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. Um, since the kids' school year is starting next week, I just decided to do a quick video just to show you what I picked out for Amir this year. Um, Amir is five years old. If you don't know, he will be six in two weeks. And this is what I have picked for his third slash fourth grade school year as far as curriculum. All right, for spelling this year for Amir, we are going to do this... Um, spelling practice book that I got online. I just printed the PDF and then just put it in this white binder. And it just has little activities that won't take very long. I'll just show you the first activity here is just like a crossword puzzle with simple words like mom, bag, sad man. It's all sight words, words he knows that he can spell. I just um, like to give him stuff that he can just brush up on his skills. And here's a look at the second page. He'll just put his name up here and has uh, little words here like dad and back. He has to look at the picture and add an A, D or A, P or A, C, T at the, A, C, K at the end. And then he'll just fill that out. And then this one, he just has to do the same thing, spell what he thinks is right here. So that's what we're doing for spelling. I'll just flip through a couple more of the pages so you can kind of see. But it's all easy stuff. Something that I'm gonna use as like a morning starter for him just to kind of get his brain going. And something I know that he can do by himself where he doesn't need any assistance at all from me. Okay, for language arts this year, we're going with the good and the beautiful. I have level two here. Last year we did level one. I'll kind of do a small flip through on this just so you can see it. And Amir did test in level three, but I really just wanted to do level two because it was a new revised one. I just wanted to go through it. I figured if he, you know, goes through it fairly quickly, I'll just get the level three and we'll just go ahead and do that. But I wanted to do this one, even though I think he might be flying through this rather quickly. So, But I did get some other supplemental stuff to fill in the gaps. Um, just in case he gets through a lesson really fast. But the words are a little um, harder here. These are sight word letters that he has to do. Most of these word, words he does already know, um, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. This is just a flip through of the first lesson. He's gonna learn QU part one. It has a little poem there, a little artwork that he will review. Um, these are some sight words here. Like I said, these words he pretty much already knows. I know he knows quick, quiver, quest. So something like this. And homophones he's very familiar with, four or four. Um, this whole lesson will he'll probably do in about 15 minutes. So when you see the um, supplemental stuff that I have for him, this is the reason why. And then this is the next lesson. He'll have multiple syllable words. Um, like I said, he does know compound words and he should be able to go through this fairly quickly. Um, but the one thing I do like about the Good and the Beautiful is their language art program is pretty decent. I like it a lot. It does incorporate geography and art, which I can appreciate. Um, I do teach those a different way. I incorporate all of our art and history into our unit study and I will have a complete different video I'm describing how I'm gonna do all that this year. And right here, you'll see like on lesson four, there's a nice geography lesson there, talking about North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, and then it looks like you'll have to do some mapping here. So that's kind of a quick glance at his Good and the Beautiful level two. Also, the um, Good and the Beautiful level two comes with two readers. He has the personal reader here. I'll kind of flip through it so you can see. There's a lot of big words in here. The stories are kind of lengthy, which I like, so that will be a little challenging for him. But there's a whole personal reader here for him, and it will tell you in the lesson um, when he will have to read the personal reader. And then they also have a shared reader, and this is kind of lengthy as well. Nice big words, and this goes along with the the language arts lessons. It'll tell you like when to read the shared reader and when to read the personal reader. All right, for handwriting, I'm doing the Good and the Beautiful again. We're doing level two. Um, when I get to my son, I didn't get him handwriting level at all. His handwriting is beautiful and he does really good at um, cursive and all that stuff. But my little one does definitely need some help. So I'll flip through a couple of pages for you. Starts off pretty simple, how to write different letters, what direction to go. 
how to stay in the lines. And I love the handwriting because it explains to the child how to draw the letters inside the lines, inside the box, but it also gives them like a little art project on each page. And he loves the color and draw, so I can really appreciate that. Here's a look at the other pages. It's telling them to be nice, to be kind. Here it's doing um, number words, one, two, and three. And then he has to draw a picture of anything he wants to draw. So this is kind of what his handwriting curriculum for this year is going to look like. All right, this is the supplemental stuff I was talking about because I kind of feel like Amir is going to fly through level two. So I just got a couple of extra workbooks for us to work on. Um, we are still working on telling time. So I've picked up this little clock um, at Target Dollar Spot. So I have that. And then I got this fourth grade curriculum um, workbook. I got it from Sam's Club for only $8. And in this curriculum book, they have math, reading, reading comprehension, English, and writing. So I got this for Amir. So what I'll do is I think when he finishes the Good and the Beautiful curriculum, if we have time, because um, we only do 30 minutes of math and 30 minutes of language arts, I'll just pull out a couple of worksheets and have them kind of work through it. So you'll see the first section here is spelling. And then it goes to, there's a reading section, reading up top. And then the next section is reading comprehension. And then it's like a reading block up top and then he has to answer the questions. I love stuff like this. I love when um, kids have to go back in the story and answer the questions. That way they retain the information really well. After reading comprehension, the next section is English. And all this is in the good and the beautiful too, but it never hurts to reiterate what you already learned. So here it says kind of statements and questions. It tells you what a statement is. The example tells you what a question is, examples. And then a direction say, right, whether each sentence is a statement or a question. And it gave him an answer for the first one. Then he just completes the other ones. And then he has to write at the bottom his own statement and question. And after English here, it's writing. Um, it says writing, use fewer words. So he has to, they have an example up here. And then they have an example of how they did it. So he has to try to write the sentence in fewer words. So this will help him with his writing skills. And then there's a bunch of different writing worksheets on there. And then the next section is math. So it just gives them different type of math to do. He'll do adding, subtracting, dividing. There's fractions in here. Um, decimals, which he's going to learn this year. Um, skip counting, more subtraction, more adding. Multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. Division. We're currently working on division now. He knows how to do um, one digit division into up to four digits, but we haven't did double digits yet. So, oh, look, see, now it's talking about double digits. So he'll get to work on that this year. So that's exciting. Here's some word problems. I love word problems, fractions. So this book is a fourth grade level. He is in fourth grade math. So this is something that he will definitely be able to do. Um, these are decimals here. Looks like decimals and blocks. And then here is some measurement. So that's a kind of a quick flip through of this book here. Um, they do have these at Barnes and Nobles, but they're like 16 bucks. This one I did get from Sam's Club and it was only nine extra books that I have. Um, I got this, I got both of these actually from the dollar store. This one is Common Core Workbook, it's math. I just got it. It's like if he wants to do homework one day or I want to give him some extra work just to keep him busy while I'm working with his brother or something like that, I'll just rip one of these out and let him go through it. And then sometimes he asks for additional work, so I'll just tell him to grab this book and then something like this he'll pretty much be able to um, go through on his own. The same thing with this one here. It's just a second grade test book. Um, it just asks questions and he just has to answer them which is the correct prefix for each word. And then he'll pick, you know, to be in, by, miss, or non. Obviously the answer is by. He would circle by and then write by up there. Um, and it's more reading comprehension on here. Talking about irregular verbs, pronouns, adjectives, simple and compound sentences, action verbs, helping verbs, apostrophes, capitalization, 
find the difference word problem solving for the unknown um, I love books like this they have so much detail in them and you get these from a the dollar store and they're only a dollar obviously but um they're very helpful helpful um, with the kids and they teach so many different things so I like this book all right last but not least um, for math I know we have it in the in this book right here but in addition to that um, my sister-in-law just gave me this math math book that her son wasn't using it's a fourth grade math book so I'm just gonna kind of flip through this and pull out some stuff for Amir to do um, I'm really just going to use this as a resource. He's not going to work his way through it completely. It's just strictly a resource. Um, both of my kids do um, their math online with teaching textbooks, but um, I'm a worksheet kind of girl, so I do like having worksheets for them to do. It's just easier for me to put that put worksheets in their portfolio than to try to print stuff online or keep a record of it that way. So. I like having the textbooks if I need extra test questions for him or, you know, just something paper for him to look at and have. So we'll kind of work our way through this textbook, reference it if he's having problems with anything. So I thought that this is a good resource to have. All right, you guys, that's all I have for Amir's third slash fourth grade curriculum this so far. If I add anything, I'll let you guys know. If I take anything away, I'll let you know. And um, we've made so many changes to how we homeschool, and I'm excited to share all that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll post, I'm posting a video soon with my 7th graders curriculum, so look out for that.